Triple Upload. What began back on June 14th uh, was a smear campaign against Chris Hardwick. It saw him deleted from the website of the show he started, The Nerdist. It saw him terminated from Talking Dead, a very popular post-show to TV's most popular AMC's smash hit, The Walking Dead. His ex-girlfriend penned a Me Too article, which was posted on Medium.com, that was accepted as fact and brutally effective at smearing the man. And before I get into the story, I want to keep it somewhat short because I've been publishing longer videos lately, but also this one is going to be an important one to share. All right, there'll be a link to the tweet in the pinned comment because the original outrage is always what spreads like wildfire. And if we don't do our part to help clear his name, uh, then what has what effect have we really had? Um, I chose not to cover it uh, the first time around because it seemed sketchy, uh, but you have to cover when things go right. Otherwise, there's no hope in this world. And I'm not saying Chris Hardwick is an angel or anything, but what I'm saying is he's not an animal, and we have to give AMC credit for doing their due diligence and as of today, reinstating him to his job. Back on June 14th, over the years, I've attempted to write this quite literally 17 times, spoken to friends, therapists, lawyers, publicists, blah, blah, blah. She then goes on to basically um, completely dump on her ex-boyfriend, Chris Hardwick. Now, I will really never understand Hollywood or even any anyone like publicly airing out their past relationship drama online. It's classless, it's selfish. And if you are a genuine victim of abuse, then you should go through the proper channels. You should not instead seek to punish your past partner or seek to get some sort of sick fame out of it. She talked about established rules in the relationship. Not allowed to have close male friends. As he was sober, I was not allowed to drink alcohol. I was not allowed to speak in public places. I wasn't allowed to take photos of us. I mean, these are all things that clearly she agreed to at the time. I'm not going to go through her letter because I don't want to give it. Uh, I don't want to give it any credence. <clears throat> she, in a way, blames her anorexia on him. She makes him sound like a monster. Then, of course, he was completely wiped from the Nerdist website that he, in fact, founded and uh, terminated from Walking Dead, all based on. One letter posted on medium.com by somebody seeking attention. Now, there are probably plenty of kernels of truth in what she's saying. But again, we cannot con con continue to give power to people who do this kind of thing. Right? Like, this is an attention seek. She got her attention. She's mad at her ex-boyfriend. She got his career completely ended within a day. Disgusting. To the man who tried to ruin my future, a sincere and heartfelt apology could have made the last four years a hell of a lot easier. Now, what does that sound like to you? That sounds like a threat. That sounds like, well, you brought this on yourself kind of comment, doesn't it? People should have seen through the motivations in this article immediately. But of course, in the Me Too craze, the mainstream media is desperate to smear any male out there, including specifically who white males. Sites fought 
like the New York Post. Me Too has gone too far, written by a woman. Call it Revenge of Me Too. It frightens me. People who turned into the Sunday night at AMC were greeted by a terse one-sentence message on their screens. Talking with Chris Hardwick will not be seen tonight. The erasure of Hardwick and from the airwaves and the public square was swift, brutal, and nearly complete. There was a hardcore reaction to an online essay published by, uh, on Thursday by Hardwick's ex-girlfriend, Chloe Dykstra. Without mentioning Hardwick by name, she detailed in often cringeworthy fashion emotional and sexual abuse she claims to have suffered during the nearly three-year intimate relationship with the host of TV programs, including Talking Dead, the after show that dissects AMC's Powerhouse, Walking Dead, and Fear of the Walking Dead. Again, this this the topic is that Chris Hardwick has been reinstated by AMC. AMC conducted their own internal investigation and did not fire the man. Unfortunately, the scars will always be there, and the mo- most of the people always remember him as some cor- sort of monster. And it's sad that there are no repercussions for this sort of thing. There's, it's sad that internal relationship drama look something like 40 percent of people's first marriages end in divorce it's not a great number it's not something to be proud of but you know celebrities are people too and they have relationship problems just like normies do as well as of 3 30 today chris hardick will get to keep talking on amc the host has been reinstated for talking dead by the network effective August 12th for after the mid-season premiere of Fear of the Walking Dead. Hardwick had his show Chris talk, ugh, talking with Chris Hardwick pulled off the channel a day before season two was to premiere after his ex-girlfriend accused him of sexual assault and emotional abuse. In a first-person online post, he also bowed out of moderating The Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, and Doctor Who panels for AMC and BBC America at Comic-Con in San Diego last week. Frequent Talking Dead guest Yvette Nicole Brown was announced as an interim host for Talk Walking Dead Season 9, preview special on August 5th and August 12th edition of Fear of the Walking Dead mid-season premiere. Brown will still host August 5th preview special as production is already underway on that and will now be a guest on the August 12th post-Fear episode. Ooh, almost had him. The network had conducted an investigation into allegations against Hardwick and issued the following statement on findings and decision to return the air to the host. Following a comprehensive assessment of AMC, working with Ivy Kagan Bierman of the law firm Loeb and Loeb, who has considerable experience in the area, Chris Hardwick will return to AMC as the host of Talking Dead and Talking with Chris Hardwick. We take these matters very seriously, and given the information available to us after a very careful review, including interviews with numerous individuals, we believe Chris to work, we believe returning Chris to work is the appropriate step. This is a win. As much as the stain is going to be stuck on Chris Hardwick for a long time, if we can share the message that this man was exonerated. Now, maybe he's not a great guy to date, but... What does that have to do with his job? What does that have to do with his blog post? What business is it of ours? Uh, what the man does in his personal life? Uh, I'm happy to see him exonerated. I felt like uh, even though I had clocked out for the day uh, and that this isn't the best time to release a video, uh, that I should do my best to share the story. So I guess congratulations, Chris Hardwick. I'm sure you went through hell over the past month, but I'm happy to see for once someone escape the outrage mob, especially this violent, vindictive Me Too movement.